Hello viewers and subscribers of this channel. Nowadays, everyone is talking about ChatGPT. The main reason is that the ChatGPT is a very, very, very powerful machine learning and artificial intelligence chatbot capable of providing reasonable and logical answers to a number of questions. In this particular video, I will perform several experiments in order to investigate to what degree ChatGPT can be used to learn coding and control theory. Okay, so let's start. First of all, you need to visit this website. A link is provided in the description below this video. Then you need to click over here and you need to sign up. You need to provide your email address and to set the password. After you open an account and after you validate your email address and after you sign in, you will see this screen over here. You can see that the cursor is blinking over here. And over here, you can actually type different questions. So let's first start with a very, very simple question. How to make a French toast. And here is what ChatGPT is producing. It gives you an answer. And the answer seems quite reasonable. We need two slices of bread, one egg, etc. And here is the procedure also. However, in this video, we are not interested in cooking or how to make pizza or French toast. We are interested in coding and control theory. Okay, so let's start. So let's ask ChatGPT a basic coding question. And the question goes like this. Write a C++ template function that will add two numbers. And let's see the answer. Wow, ChatGPT is even capable of writing C++ code. This is really amazing. Okay, so let's analyze the result. Here is a template function that will add two numbers of any type. And obviously, this function is correct. Then, this function can be called with any data type, such as integer float or even a user-defined type. And this is really important. So ChatGPT is able to emphasize the main purpose of template functions. Template functions are special functions that can operate with generic types. And as you can see over here, ChatGPT even provided us a very nice example. First of all, we specify integer x and integer y. And here we call add where x and y are integers. So this template function is able to recognize that x and y are integer, integers and to perform the proper addition and to return an integer as the result. However, if we define a, b as floats, and if we call add function by specifying floats as arguments, the compiler will not return an error because add function is a template function. It is quite generic. It can operate on integer, floats, or even strings. And you start to see the power of chat GPT. As you can see, ChatGPT can be a super useful tool for learning how to code. Okay, so let's ask another question. Write a C++ template function that will divide two numbers. Let's see the answer. And as you can see over here, magic happens. You can see that ChatGPT is able to write a divide function and to accurately 
enter here divide symbol and even we have one example over here and notice the result over here notice this message note that this function does not perform any error checking so it is important to ensure that b is not zero before calling this function this is really amazing the details of the response provided by ChatGPT are amazing. Okay, so let's start with Python questions. Write a Python code that will sort this list. A is 2, minus 1, minus 2, 0, minus 10, 20, 30, 15, 20, in a descending manner. Let's see. Okay, so as you can see over here, ChatGPT is using the sort function. Okay, but I don't like the fact that ChatGPT is using the function sort and reverse. So I will reformulate my question like this. Write a Python code that will sort this list A in a descending manner without using sort or reverse functions. That is to say, I want ChatGPT to use the classical way of sorting arrays or lists. And let's see the answer. Here's a Python code that will sort the list A in descending order without using the built-in sort or reverse functions. And let's see the approach. Okay, here it is. Basically, we have a while loop, we iterate through entries in A. Then we find the max element. Then we start a new list called sorted list. We append this element and then we erase the maximum element from the list that is from the or original list and we repeat the while loop very elegant solution okay so let's start now with control theory questions my favorite let us ask this question what is an inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s plus 1. And let's see the result. The inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s plus 1 is the function e to the power minus t. Correct. And moreover, you can see that chat GPT is giving you the procedure. Not only that it can provide you an answer but it can also provide you a detailed procedure. This is really amazing. You have really a detailed answer and you can use this answer to learn control theory. This is really amazing. Okay, now we will ask the following tricky question. Find the solution of the following equation. Sinus of x is equal to x. And let's see the answer. Okay, so the answer is that it's not possible to find an exact solution for this equation as it involves the sine function, which is periodic and has an infinite number of roots. We have to be a little bit critical over here. This is only partly correct. That is, this is not completely correct. However, it's possible to find approximate solutions using numerical methods, and this is correct. And as you can see over here, ChatGPT is giving us a Python implementation of the bisection method that's used to find the roots of nonlinear equations. And here is the Python implementation. This is really good. Although, over here, we have one statement that's not correct. So, what we can see over here, that this equation actually has an exact solution, and that exact solution is x is equal to 0. And you don't need 
numerical methods to find that solution, since this is a trivial solution. Consequently, this is not correct. And furthermore, it's written over here that this function or this equation involves the sine function, which is periodic and has an infinite number of roots. That's correct. It has an infinite number of roots, but equations can have infinite number of roots, and these infinite number of roots can be found exactly. Let us now ask the following imprecise control theory question. Notice what I said. I said an imprecise question, and I will explain later on why this question is imprecise. Is the system dot x is equal to minus x stable? Let's see the answer. Yes, the system described by the differential equation dot x is minus x is stable. And here is the explanation. Basically, chat GPT is saying that the solution to this differential equation is given by x0 multiplying e to the minus t. And we can see that as t goes to infinity, x approaches to 0. Consequently, the system is stable, or better to say asymptotically stable. And that's correct. However, my question is not precise. This is the reason. We cannot ask if a system is stable. We can only ask if an equilibrium point of a system is stable. And that's the catch. And the answer cannot be that the system is stable. The answer should be that the equilibrium point x is equal to 0 is stable. Let us now reformulate the question. Investigate the stability of the equilibrium point of the system dot x is equal to minus x without using linearization or direct solution. And let's see the answer. One way to investigate the stability of the equilibrium point of the system without using linearization direct solution is to consider the phase portrait of the system. Correct. However, there are also other approaches. And here we have basically an explanation how to calculate or how to do the phase portrait. And this is very important. Alternatively, we could use other methods such as energy-based arguments or a graphical analysis. However, I don't see here Lyapunov analysis. Okay, so let's try to be more precise. Use Lyapunov method to investigate the stability of the equilibrium point of the system is equal to minus x. And let's see the answer. Wow. One possible Lyapunov function for the system is dot for the system dot x is equal to minus x is the function v of x x squared. This function is positive definite, meaning that it's always greater than or equal to zero, and it is equal to zero only at the equilibrium point. Correct. We can use the time derivative of the Lyapunov function along the trajectories of the system to determine the stability of the equilibrium point. If the time derivative is always negative or zero at the equilibrium point, then the equilibrium point is stable. Here we should say the following. This is not correct. If the time derivative is always negative or zero at the equilibrium point, 
we cannot say that. We can say in some neighborhood around the equilibrium point, then the equilibrium point is stable. And here you can see the calculation. So if we take the first derivative of our Lepunov function, x squared, we basically have that this Lepunov function, when it's being uh, differentiated, we obtain something that looks like this. We obtain minus 2x squared. And this time derivative is always negative. So the equilibrium point x0 is stable according to Lepunov's method. And this is correct. Okay, so let us summarize this video. My first impression about ChatGPT is that ChatGPT can be a super useful tool for learning how to code. However, when it comes to more advanced topics such as mathematics or control theory, I would double check the answers provided by ChatGPT. Okay, this would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I create, please subscribe and press the like buttons. Thank you very much and have a nice day.